What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hi PSI TV. I'm in my shop today. I got the air conditioning on. It's uh, pretty humid outside, so trying to keep it somewhat cool in here. Uh, just got home from work from RPM, building a ZR1 up there, which you guys should hopefully see soon. Uh, but we're going to talk about the Packard a little bit today. I started over the weekend replacing the rocker panels and ran into a few issues as always. And when I get out here, hopefully this weekend, I'm going to do a video on actually replacing the rocker. I wanted to do this one without filming because I wanted to not have to stop and pay attention to what I was doing. I was trying to get a lot of work done. I was hoping to get one side of the car done today. I'm sorry, done over the weekend, but that didn't happen. But you can see this rocker is now in the car, welded to the B pillar, welded to the floor pan, welded to the A pillar, but it doesn't fit perfect. So looking at it from here, everything looks good, right? <clears throat> well, that's our problem the angle or the bend radius of the old rocker compared to the new one is off by about a quarter of an inch in the middle and that poses a problem because i didn't want to replace the rocker under the b pillar but let me show you guys how this thing is assembled and give you an idea of how it all works okay so this is a piece of the new rocker panel this is a piece of the old rocker panel and this is sold in two separate pieces you can see it's open on the back side This here is the inner rocker panel piece. And I'll show you how they fit together in a second, but I got left and right, the lefts are over there, but everything looked good. I had a piece of the old rocker cut out and I put it up next to the new rocker and you can see it lines up pretty good, close enough that I could make it work with a hammer and dolly and a little bit of bodywork. The problem came in, here so the inner and outer rocker needed to be welded together like so problem is when i do that it spreads this apart here you can see it's still a little bit flexible and it changes the curve of the uh, rocker panel so i'm not sure why they sell these in two separate pieces because really it would have been easier to put it in as one piece you know just lop it off where you need it trim it and fit it but they sell it in two separate pieces so what i did is i drilled holes along this edge and along this edge and I spot welded the inner and outer together before I put it in the car. Now as far as door gap goes you can see it's pretty good all the way down aside from the door having some bondo in it, it makes it look a little bit funny. I'm gonna grab a light and go under the car and show you where the problem started. All right so here we are under the car and you can see where I spot welded the inner and the outer panels together no problem but coming up and meeting these body braces which weld to the bottom of the frame and weld to the top of the frame and this is what supports the outside of the body so you can see there's a body mount here so the rocker needs to be welded to this and the floor is actually supposed to touch this piece there's actually a piece of old floor pan still here so these floor pans weren't meant to fit this vehicle either so kind of winging it as i go hoping that i get it structurally sound enough that it's all good but this is actually really solid so we're welded here here and here so this is a piece of the old rocker. What happened is when I had the rocker lined up on the outside, on the inside there was a gap here coming up to the body mount section of the frame. So what I had to do is pull this in and in turn that changed how the rocker lines up right there. So now the plan is going to be to replace my rear door rocker piece. This is still solid so I hate to cut it out but what I'm going to have to do is come along this edge, cut it out, come along the bottom edge, cut it out, and put another piece in so that the rocker is uniform the whole way down the car. The other issue that I'm going to run into is when I get back here, because as you can see, this has been fixed before. It's all rotten and nasty. Someone took a piece of sheet metal and just bent it and welded it in the best they could, and it's full of Bondo and all sorts of other crap. So I'm going to do what I can. I'm probably going to come right back to here Sorry, holding the camera bad. I'm going to come to here, cut straight across, and then I'll fabricate this piece back here because the rocker actually stops way up here. So I'm going to fabricate this piece and hope that it turns out okay. But moving back up here under the cart, you can see that this turned out what I would call nice. Um, I didn't want to weld this seam the whole way down. I wanted to keep it factory, and in the factory they spot weld all this stuff together. The floorboard is welded solid to this piece, and these two pieces are welded together, welded to the frame mounts. So... 
I, uh, I stood on the floor yesterday and it's solid. Unfortunately, this is the kind of stuff you run into when you're restoring an old car. And I know I say it over and over again that they don't make parts for this specific car. So they make Packard floor pans and rockers for different models or trim levels of this car, I should say, but nothing exactly for this. <clears throat> Something else you'll notice is the floor doesn't come all the way to the A-pillar here. So I'm gonna make a little fill panel and it's gonna be small to go here, but the floor is nice and solid. All the floor pans are in it. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the last couple of videos, all the floor pans are in. So we're good there. Um, I'm actually ready to put the pedal assembly and stuff back in on that side. So I have brakes and a gas pedal. But yeah, so the plan for this weekend is, you can see I've already welded the floorboard to this part of the rocker. So I'm gonna split the rocker here instead of replacing this part because it's still solid. So I don't wanna replace more metal than I have to. I just wanna replace what I need to replace and leave the rest alone. That way I'm not altering body lines and structure and stuff like that. So I'm gonna leave in it what I can. So, but like I said, this stuff is close. Like I said, real close when you line it up with the old stuff, but you can see, you know, even this was a good piece and it's still got rust in it, holes and stuff, so. Come over here to the driver's side and show you what I'm scared about. There's the one. So there is absolutely no structure left in this rocker panel, but I plan to replace it the same way I did the other side. We'll cut it right here at the body, at the B pillar, cut it at the A pillar and replace it all as one section. This part of it, still solid, but you can see someone started putting Bondo back here. So that one's probably gonna be replaced as well. You can see it's rotted out up in here. So, moving along, moving slow, unfortunately. I wish I had more time to spend on this, but with racing and you know messing around with other goofy stuff every once in a while, I like to try to relax, take the bike out, but it's been raining for like the past eight weeks, so I haven't had a chance to do that. Slow but steady working on this. After I get all the floors done, what I wanna do is I wanna put a new fuel tank in this car, run new fuel lines, and put an electric fuel pump on it. Um, for those of you who follow the channel, you know I did get the car running, it has oil pressure. I have not put water in it yet or coolant um, because the water neck on the top of the cylinder head is leaking. I have a solution for that. I have this fabricated water neck that I'm gonna modify to hold a new style thermostat and it should mount right to the top of the head. So once I get it running longer, uh, say I can let it run for five or 10 minutes on its own without overheating, without cutting off stuff like that, then the entire wiring harness is coming out of the car and I'm gonna wire this thing for 12 volts. So once that's done, once the car has been wired, once the, uh, the body is structurally sound, I'm gonna start doing the fun stuff, bagging it, putting the wheels on it and all that. The interior is gonna be one of the last things I do. And the exterior of the car is gonna stay like this for now. I am gonna patch this rust here but the rest of the car is there except for uh you know a few letters missing we have the pack d back here and i'm going to put a new trim piece along the door here but we're going to leave it the way that it is for now so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what's going on with the packard um i am going to film the other rocker replacement this weekend hopefully uh hopefully i'm not tied up doing a bunch of other stuff but I'm gonna keep rolling on this. If I can get one rocker done a week, I know that seems like not a lot, but it is a lot of work, I'll be happy. And then I can start the real meat and potato stuff, you know, the wiring, getting it running for a longer period of time and whatnot. If you guys don't yet, be sure that you follow me on Instagram. I post up a lot more often on there than I do on YouTube. Unfortunately, it's hard for me to sit down and make a video, which is why I'm doing this late at night before I go to sleep. Don't forget guys, there's always a link in the description below for high PSI TV merchandise. Help support the brand, help support the channel. Get yourself a t-shirt, get a hat. I have koozies as well. And be on the lookout for another video on the Packard. And also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna put a link to the ride along I did with my mom in the Buick. Don't do a burnout. ago be sure you check out that video mom had a blast i had a blast filming it we have a lot of fun together so check that out stay tuned and we'll see you next time